Hello you guys and welcome to another vlog. My name is Ashley Park. This is Park Avenue and I have tons of fashion content. So if that's what you love, you're in the right place. Be sure to subscribe and hit those notification bells because I upload multiple times a week and I don't want you to miss anything. So today we are getting ready to go to the circus. Like today we're vlogging and I'm taking you guys with me. We're going to Cirque du Soleil, which is a fancy circus. And I've always wanted to go. I have never been. I really don't know why I've never been to Cirque du Soleil because when I was a kid, we would go to all the Broadway shows. I've seen like Barnum and Bailey shows, like Universal Circus would come to town. I would go see that. All the Disney shows on ice, like anything on ice, I've seen like all of those shows. So I'm really not sure, but I don't know that they always travel. Like I don't really know a lot about Cirque du Soleil, except I know they were in Vegas. So maybe that's why I didn't get a chance to see. But anyway, um, they reached out and asked if I wanted to see it. So I was like, yeah. So me and Winston are going to turn it into a date night and... I'm excited to check it out. I'm going to take you guys with me. If you follow me on Instagram, you will have already seen it because I'm going to share my experience on Instagram. Um, so make sure you guys follow me on Instagram because I'll share things. I share things in real time in my stories on Instagram. But yeah, so I'm about to get ready. I'm probably just going to like listen to music and get ready. The, I'm, I think I'm going to wear a hat with my outfit. So I'm probably going to just do my makeup from brows down because I don't wear makeup on my forehead when I wear a hat. <laughs> and I know I'm not the only one. But yeah, I'm going to be, it's going to be kind of chilly tonight. So I wanted to wear something that was comfortable, but still cute. But you know what I mean? Like casual, elevated casual. You know how we do it. So that's what I'm wearing. I'm going to show you guys exactly what it is once I get dressed. But I did want to say thank you to you guys for all the compliments you guys have been giving me on my hair. Um, you guys know that I, well, those of you who have been complimenting me know. I straightened my hair and then I dyed it a lot darker. Like I already have black hair, but I just put a darker dye on it. It was, I think it's a demi permanent, um, like jet black. So I really love that for the full. And winter, I just wanted really black, like sleek hair. And thank you guys for all the compliments. But uh, the salon that I go to, they gave me a 20% code to share with you guys so you can get 20% off your salon services. I'll have the code in the description box, so make sure you guys check. Um, I'll have all the information listed, but if you are in Atlanta, the salon is in Decatur, Georgia, so you guys will be able to book an appointment. I'll have the website, the code you need to get the 20% off and all of that. And so I'll have everything listed and just tell them Park Avenue sent you, but they'll know because you use the code to book the appointment. Um, but yeah, I want you guys to be able to take advantage because the code is going to be good between the code is going to be good from now until uh, December, the end of December, so the end of the year. So you guys will get a chance to go a couple of times or a few times, depending on how often you get your hair done, if you have a good experience, you know what I'm saying? So that's pretty much all I want to tell you guys now. So I'm going to do my makeup and then show you guys what I'm wearing and then we're off to the circus. Hey you guys, so here is the outfit. I am all ready, ready to go. And I hit a garage now, once he just got back, so he's gonna hurry up and change so we could go, so we can leave. But um, I'm wearing this leather top that I got from Nasty Gal a while back. I shared this a long time ago, so I know it's not available. I'll link to something similar. And then underneath it, because it's gonna get so cold, I'm wearing one of my yummy bodysuits, which is so cute. It goes perfect with this outfit. You know what I mean? Those yummy sculpting body, um, not the bodysuit, the yummy sculpt, sculpting tanks that I'm always telling you guys about. I have one on and it's like a really, it's a perfect shade of brown to go with this outfit. Like I'm, I'm really obsessed with it. Um, I'll link it and I'll have my coupon code in the description box so you guys can get money off your yummy purchases. And then I have on my leggings. I showed you guys these leggings from Walmart. Perfect, perfect compliment for this outfit. I'm really obsessed. And then these are my boots that I had from last winter. These are Steve Madden, but they're, um, the Gia Borghini dupes. And then this is the outfit. And then I have on my Jacques Mousse bag, which is really cute with this. And then my hat from H&M, but this is really old. I, I had this for like, I don't know, a year or two, maybe even more than that, I don't even remember. But this is the look, really cute, very comfortable, elevated casual, and I really love it. And then I have on all my gold jewelry. I'll link to these. I actually have on, this is a necklace and a bracelet worn together. There we go. It's a bracelet and a necklace worn together. You guys know all about this horse bit one. I'll link it for you guys from TJ Maxx. And then I have on my Cartier Love Ring. This ring here is from David Yearman. And then my pinky ring is from David Yearman as well. So that's all my jewelry. Oh, and then I recently got this choker from TJ Maxx. You guys have seen this. I shared this in a video. And my earrings are David Yearman as well. So this is the outfit, comfortable and cute. It's gonna be perfect for the cooler temperature later on. And that's it. Let's go.
And my lipstick is from NARS. It's one of the lip pencils, but I'll link it and write the color in the description box. But I'm giving all the full vibes. I'm ready to go. Let's go. All right, guys. Let's, 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 let's <laughs> I'm actually excited since <laughs> I've never been before. I'm excited to see. Winston has been like three times. I didn't know that. Good morning, you guys. So I just sat down because I'm about to get ready for brunch. But I wanted to tell you about Cirque du Soleil because we had a good time. So it was really cute. I had never been to one of uh, the shows before, one of the Cirque du Soleil shows. But I enjoyed it. Um, the contortionists were my favorite part. That was my favorite part. Their costumes were really cute. And just the way they did everything like in synchrony was really cool. So I loved that. That was my favorite part of the entire show. But it was really cute and there was like a kid behind me anytime they did like any tricks where they were like coming down from the ceiling or anything like that the kid behind me was like i know this is fake i have it all figured out i know this is fake so it was the cutest thing and there were a lot of people there on dates you could see people with their kids so it was like a really it was a cute like family thing but you could also make it a date night and they had on um, like a red carpet where you could take photos so that was really cute too and they had snacks and stuff i didn't try any of the food that they had there but they had snacks wine um you know like snack food popcorn a lot of people have popcorn but yeah so that was really cute and they're in town it's at atlantic station and they're in atlanta until december 24th so if you guys are interested but now i am about to head to brunch with one of my friends and this is just like a chill little brunch and we've been kind of like putting it off we wanted to try this place before but you know schedules and all that so now we're going to check out this brunch place and honestly you guys i I don't feel like doing any makeup or anything like that. I want it to be like super chill. But I stayed up pretty late last night, so I feel like I look kind of tired. So I'm just going to put like a little bit of makeup on. Right now, I'm about to wear this CC New Glow from It Cosmetics. I got this not that long ago, but I liked it a lot. I like this one a lot. It has SPF 40. My mother was actually wearing this, and she really liked it. And I don't usually go for like CC creams or all that or whatever, but the other night... So Makeup Forever has been one of my favorite foundations of the powder. That's one of my favorite foundations, the matte velvet skin, for the summertime. But summertime is over, and the other night it was cold, and I feel like my skin looked like really cakey like by the end of the night. Matter of fact, this the night of the circus. When I came back home, because we went out afterwards, and when I came back home, like when I was getting to wash my face, it was hours and hours later, so you know what I'm saying? Like your makeup does look old after that, but I felt like my I like looked like cake face. Like I did not like it at all, so... This has to really just be strictly for summer for me or just a very light, like dusting. Anyway, I'm about to wear this. And I got this so that I, in times I don't feel like wearing makeup, but I want to look a little bit more polished. That's why I got this. But first, I'm going to put on my, a little bit of my corrector. Oh, and last night when I went to bed, I tried those. Remember in the last vlog, I showed you guys some of the skincare I picked up from like Ulta and Sephora. Um, I tried the Patchology, the Patchology Overnight Repair or Nighttime Repair Eye Patches. It was the single one that I had in the little blue packet. I don't have it right now because I threw it away because I used it last night. But I like it. When I woke up, my eyes felt really moisturized. Now, I did leave it on all night. It just says for five minutes, but I fell asleep. So I just laid, I just kept it on. And it stayed on all night. It didn't slide down or slip or anything like that. And I could see how someone would say they're reusable because inside of the pouch, it, it comes in like a like almost like a plastic container. So I guess in theory, you could reuse it. I don't, they probably wouldn't recommend it, but you know, I guess it's up to you. But when I woke up, my eyes felt really moisturized and I probably would have looked a lot, lot, lot more dehydrated had I not done them last night. So I'm going to buy another one or another few because I guess they must have uh, packs. I didn't look it up, but I'm sure they must have packs of multiple instead of buying one-off packs. But that's great because, you know, for travel and everything like that. 
So we're going to a restaurant, a Mexican restaurant called Cheeto and Padres. And um, it was one of the restaurants that was on my list for like rooftop restaurants for the summer. So it's getting cold and I want to sit on the rooftop. Hopefully they have some heaters. It's not freezing today, but hopefully they have heaters out in case it's a little cold. Because we're going to get there like when they open basically. Because I got to get back home and finish. Um, I got a, a, a whole bunch of stuff to do when I get back. So <sighs> I'm just going to go to brunch enjoy it and then come back and finish all my work and all that so this is what it looks like can you see oh and my battery's about to die but i want to show you guys how this looks uh, let me finish my makeup and i'll come back and tell you guys all about cheeto and padres but i'm taking it with me anyway so you'll see but yeah that's a nice natural finish like look right there nice and dewy not dry or cake facey well i put a little bit over here too but you can see like the difference i like that All right, I'm gonna do my makeup and I'll be back. Okay, here's the outfit, you guys. I'm running out. Now I'm wearing this Yankee cap and then I have on my hoop earrings. This choker, I might take the choker off. I don't know, I gotta tighten it up so it could be a little higher if I do wear it. But I have on this one shoulder crop tank from Everlane. I'm not gonna take my jacket off, so that's why I didn't fix my bra. But um, yeah, I like that. And then I have on these high waist jeans from Abercrombie. I wear these all the time. You guys have seen these a ton. And then I just have on my um, Saint Laurent sneakers and then my Saint Laurent gold bag. I wanted to do like fun street style, elevated casual kind of a vibe. So this is the look. Now let's go to brand. obviously but um i'm gonna take you guys with me i'm ready to a little bit of traffic this morning and i got a little bit of a headache but it's gonna be good i'm gonna take you guys with me and show you the process so all i did this morning because my scalp was going a little bit crazy i did um a little like scalp treatment i use this oil by kills it's some it's called something elixir i'll link it for you guys but i try to do that especially when my scalp is kind of you know i feel like it needs a little extra cleansing i'll do that before i go and just let it sit on my scalp i think you only need to leave it on like 10 minutes or something like that but I did it this morning before I got in the shower and just scratched my scalp a little bit did the uh, cleansing oil and now I'm on my way to the salon so my hair is like really greasy because of the product that I put in it already but yeah I'm gonna take you guys with me show you the process and then show you how my hair looks after the fact I'm just gonna get a uh, silk press and wear it straight like I've been wearing it for a while now because that's what I'm into so I'll check in with you guys once I get to the salon
Okay, you guys, so we are in a new space and you're probably wondering, where are you actually, what's going on? So we got an apartment, <laughs> we got an apartment. We still have the house. I'm gonna give you guys, so this is a mini life update so you guys can know what's going on because I am gonna be filming in this space as well. So I didn't wanna surprise you and spring it on you. But we have been here for the past few days already just kinda unpacking some things and everything like that. So we still have our house. You guys will see me filming here. You'll see me filming at the house and we, you know, we'll be back and forth. So I just wanted to give you guys an update because I know you guys are gonna see this background and wonder what the heck is going on. And I, I wanted you guys to know what was going on. So that's exciting. I'm just excited to get back to work because we took this weekend to really just like unpack some things and get as settled as possible. And right now we don't have any furniture here, just a few pieces, but I am gonna take you guys with me through decorating and building my closet. So the studio space that I have at the house now is huge. You guys have seen it. Um, you saw when I was putting in the closet system in there, I told you guys, you know, some of the pros and cons of this, that studio space that I have now and the closet system. And I took you guys through the cabinets that I have my handbags and shoes in and all that. Um, but now I'm gonna take you guys with me as I decorate this apartment and my closet, which I'm very excited about because in the studio that I have now, the walls are like slanted. So it kind of took away from what I can do as far as a closet system. So it's very specific, but now I have a more standard size room that I'll be able to have the full closet system that I wanted in the first place. So I'm excited to share that with you guys. And with the studio space, you know that we went back and forth to Ikea in like North Carolina. We did that like two or three times and that was ridiculous, but nothing was in stock then. That was a crazy time we were in. So that was just unfortunate that we had to do that. So now we're, we're not doing that. We're just gonna get, you know, everything that's in stock now and then I'll just build on that. And then, you know, as far as the rest of the apartment, I'll show you guys when I decorate and things like that. So as you can see, we still have some organizing to do and everything like that, but we wanted to get as settled as possible and then get, really get back to work. So that's my mini life update. I'm excited to continue sharing with you guys and taking you with me through all these journeys and transitions that we have been going through because that's pretty cool and exciting, especially to document all these things and look back. Because even now when I look back at the footage from the home renovation and when we first bought the house, even my videos when we were at our apartment before we even bought the house and I was still working my job, working my full-time job, that was, I don't know, it's just crazy to be able to look back on all my videos and then it takes me through everything that has happened to us up until this point or everything that we did and all the goals that we set and hit, that is pretty crazy, so. Anyway, thank you guys for continuing to support and watch and all that. And I also did a little bit of shopping because of course, that's what you guys are here for. So during this entire transition, I made a little bit of time to shop and I got a few things that I really, really like. So let's get into that. All right, so starting with some things that I picked up from Zara, I ordered this vest that is so cute. It's navy blue and it has really, really light white pinstripes going through it. It's really nice. It's a very tailored look and I love vests, but until now I haven't been able to find a lot that fit me the way I want them to fit because a lot of times I'll have issues with them being a little bit too long um, from my shoulder to like my bust. And so I'll have to get them tailored and fixed and all that, or maybe um, get them like fixed here under under the arm. But this one fits really well. I like this, I love the color and I don't have a blue one like this. So this is perfect. And I cannot wait to stop this up for you guys with you know, like just like street style, tailored, kind of everyday casual looks. But this one is really cute. I also want them to do this and maybe some other colors because I really love like the menswear inspired suiting pieces. They're my, some of my favorites. So really like this one. And Zara has been doing a good job lately. Like Zara has been having so many things, which is annoying to me because I'm always checking and I'm always looking, adding things to my cart. But I'm happy that they have been offering so many good things for this fall and the upcoming winter. I do want to keep my eyes peeled for a cute coat from Zara. We'll see. I've seen a few, but I'm looking for a very specific like robe style black or maybe gray coat. I want it to be belted. I want it to have a belt and I want it to be very long, like really maxi. So anyway, that's what I'm looking out for. And Zara usually does those kinds of coats. So I'm looking to see what they have now. But I love this. So cute. And another thing that Zara has been doing really, really well is denim. It seems like they're coming out with a new cool denim piece every other week now. And I was so happy that I was able to get this vest because they did a lot of like denim dresses and skirts and things like that. And they didn't work out for me. And I missed the courses, like all the denim courses that they had. I missed them, they like sold out. So when I saw this, I was like, let me try this. I happened to see it like, I think right away when they released it on the website because 
things usually go so fast, but I love this. A denim vest. I'm going to wear this so much now and in the summer months. This is so good. And you know, denim is, lo is long wearing, long lasting. So this is going to be so good. And I can really just wear it over and over again. I'm going to layer things under it. I'm going to wear it with wide leg trousers, with shorts, skirts. I have so many ideas for this and I'm so excited to wear this. But what I also like is that the back of this has that adjustment piece. Just so good. I love that they have the stitching here. The buttons are really great and I love the wash. Those, this wash is really nice. They also have another one, which I'll link it for you guys, that I do really like, but when I saw this one, I knew that this one was the one that I needed, but it's nice that they have that other version as well. And then I saw that they have a couple of pair of straight leg jeans that I have been looking for for forever. So I, I ordered those and I'm waiting for them to come in the mail. They should be here you know, in the next couple of days, but I'll show you guys those as well because I think one of them will be a really great match for this for me to do like a cute denim on denim which i love so we'll see if the jeans work out but i love this now i would say this runs small because i got this in an extra extra large and the first vest that i showed you i got that in an extra large and i feel like with zara if it goes up to an extra extra large that means that it's it runs small I don't know if anyone else has that experience, but I feel like if I have to go up to that size in Zara, I feel like it runs small because they don't always offer an extra, extra large in all their pieces. So I think that's how they compensate for it. But, you know, let me know. I might be wrong. Next up, I got this black faux leather puffer vest that I am obsessed with. It's kind of cropped, still really, really cute. Now, I got it in black, but it also comes in white. And that's the color that I tried on when I was in the store. And the white looks really good. It's like a creamy white. And I was like, ooh, I feel like I need to have this when I tried it on. But they didn't have my size in the black one. So I was just like, I don't know if I should do cream or white because I couldn't try on the black one. But then a woman was behind me and she was trying on the black one. I was like, no, I gotta get the black one because it just looks so good. And I know I wouldn't wear the cream one as much as I would wear the black. And I think I'll kind of get over it after a time because it is faux leather. And of course, you know, it's Zara quality. So I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to have the white one for, you know, as long as I would be able to have the black one. And I didn't love it as much when I really like sat down and thought about it. And then, you know, with makeup getting on the collar because this comes up kind of high around the neck. And I knew the white one would get really dirty and dingy as far as for me. I still like it. I think it's really cute. So I would, you know, you should definitely try it on if you're interested because it's still really cute. And I was thinking like the white one would go with my white boots because they're, they look like they could have been the same tone. But I just decided I was going to go with the black. And I, I'm glad I went with the black because I just feel like the black looks so expensive, like luxe and really rich, especially when I'm going to, the way I'm going to style it. I have so many ideas in mind for this and I'm going to wear this casually, but also dressed up with heels and stuff for like, you know, elevated street style looks, which is kind of like my thing right now. <laughs> but I love this. Next, I made a stop in Nordstrom Rag where I picked up these clogs and I really love these. I thought they were so interesting and I don't have anything like this. These are actually Veronica Beard. So I'm so happy with these. I was pleasantly surprised. And I just kind of feel like I'm attracting more Veronica Beard in my life. You guys saw when I showed you um, the pieces that I got when I did the Veronica Beard sponsorship. This is my sponsor. I picked these up and paid for them with my own money, but I really love these. And that just speaks to how much I actually love the brand, but definitely really into these. I love how good the quality is. I love that they have these studs. I mean, they're just so fun and so good. And while I was in the store trying one, I got compliments from at least three different people. So I was like, okay, well, let me just go ahead and get these. Cause I thought about it for a second. I'm like, am I gonna wear these? I don't know, but I really love this kind of like zebra print. I've really been obsessed with the zebra print for a while. And this is a nice way to do it with the two brown shades and it is calf hair. It's just a good pair of shoes. And then the heel, it has leather on the heel. So it's not just like a typical wooden block heel on a clog. So these just had a lot of interesting features and they just look so cute. So I actually have in, my, in mind to wear with this denim uh, vest, maybe with the denim on denim outfit that I have in my mind. I feel like this would be a really cute, cute combination. And then with my Chloe test bag, you know, throw a little 70s on it and then my oversized Gucci shades. Hopefully that works out. I'm so excited to show you guys. I really hope that works out. But yeah, I got these. And then last but not least, I picked up these earrings from Anthropology, and I love these. I wanted a bolder, like chunkier earring, um, but I didn't want it to necessarily be really, really oversized. But I do love oversized earrings, but I wanted something a little bit chunkier and kind of like on the medium side. And I think this is perfect. I tried it on in the store and I was like, okay, this is it. So hopefully they wear well. I I don't have any jewelry pieces from Anthropology to like know, but I really like these. So if you're looking for something like this, you might want to check out Anthropology. Of course, I will have links to everything in the description box so you guys can check it out. 
And that's it. That's everything I got recently. And I have some more stuff coming in, but I'll show you guys that once it gets here, if it works out, you know? Oh, and the last thing, I did pick up a corset from Zara. I got the full leather corset that a lot of people have shared. Um, I'm going to return it. It didn't work out for me. I think that I need something just a little bit more structured, even though it does have some slight boning. I am bustier, so I feel like it just didn't do it for me. Maybe I could have, you know, chosen a different size. I don't know, because they didn't have any more. When, you know, I ordered mine online. But I'm just going to send it back and it didn't work out for me. But I do think it's a good option. If you try it on and it works out, I think it was a really good option. So I'll have everything linked in the description box so you guys can check it out. Um, I'll have size information and all that. And that's it. So now you guys are all caught up and you guys know what's going on. All the new pieces that I picked up and the new spaces that I will be sharing with you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here and you made it this far and you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? I would love to have you. And do not forget to use that coupon code if you guys want to check out the hair salon that I go to. Healthy, hair, shiny, thriving. If you guys want to check out the salon that I go to, I'll have the coupon code to get you 20% off listed in the description description box along with the website and all that so make sure you check the description box for all the information you're going to need and i'll see you guys in the next video bye be sure to check out my ebook you guys i got such a positive response from so many of you and i thank you guys so much i'm so happy you guys loved uh, my ebook where i shared with you guys everything that i have done to get to the point that i'm at right now I get so many questions about how to be successful on YouTube, what I did, you know, any tips that I have to offer, and literally everything is in that guide. And I got so much good feedback from you guys about how valuable you feel that this guide is, and it truly is. So now I'm really excited to say that you guys can get the audio version of this ebook. I know a lot of you might be very busy, but you still want to learn how to succeed on YouTube. You want some tips and some guidance. And I know that a lot of people are just really busy. Maybe you're a mom, maybe you are only able to listen while you're like on the computer at work. So this audiobook is going to allow you to do that. It's going to give you all the same information, but now you can just listen and you don't have to sit in one place and read we're all very busy and I know we all are multitasking but you still want to be able to get the information so the audiobook is now live you guys check the description box and pick it up and I would love to know you guys' feedback it helps so much in me just like you know being able to share more with you guys and just know that you're able to receive the information so definitely check the description box I'm really excited for this and I cannot wait for you guys to check it out as well oh.